Hey, I'm Bruce Keppen. I'm the founding dean of the Frank Netter School of Medicine at Quinnipiac University. We're one of the new medical schools that are being formed across the country. I've been in the position about two years. Prior to that, I was uh, at the University of Connecticut School of Medicine for 28 years, and the last 18 served as the Dean for Academic Affairs. So I've been in academic medicine for over 30 years. Getting involved with Elsevier uh, came about in a very roundabout way. The uh, publisher was looking to develop an Essentials of Physiology book to be a companion to the Byrne and Levy Physiology. And they had asked uh, Bruce Stanton's uh, department chair if he wanted to be involved, and he declined but recommended Bruce Stanton. And Bruce said, uh, I'd do it if only Bruce Keppen would work with me. And so we started by writing the renal section of the Essentials of Physiology book. When the book uh, was published, it got, uh, the renal section got rave reviews. And as a result, we were asked to uh, rework that section into a renal monograph. And that's how renal physiology was born. We've designed the book to really be an introduction to the function of the kidney for first year medical students, dental students. And so we've purposely tried to focus in on the essential features. It's not a comprehensive textbook on the, on the kidney. We felt it was important to focus in on some important concepts and avoid a lot of the, the details that can often cause a student to lose the forest for the trees. I think one of the important innovations in the book is we've included, uh, we call them boxes. There's a, a box that gives clinically relevant material related to the physiology we're trying to explain. And then we know that a lot of the current research is focusing at the cellular and molecular level. And we've put that into at the cellular level boxes. So a student can read that material or completely ignore it. Anything not included in the box is what we consider the essential material a first-year medical student should know about the function of the kidney. The uh, hardest part that Bruce Stanton and I have, the hardest job I should say, is to deciding what not to put into the book. There is so much new material coming out and we've got to weigh that material and say what of all of this new information is really essential for a first year medical or dental student to know in order to understand the function of the kidney. So we have long telephone discussions on the latest research that's come out and how important is that to put into the book. We've also consciously said the book will never grow in number of pages to keep it at a level that is readable for the student. And so if we do add material, the rule is some material has to be taken out. And those are tough decisions. Uh, the, the best advice I can give is that uh, you need to immerse yourself into a subject and convince yourself that you truly understand it. Don't study to the test. Study to where you understand the material, then the test is immaterial. But our experience with uh, Elsevier has just been wonderful. Uh, everything we've asked for in terms of enhancements in the book, they've supported. Uh, the editing has been uh, quite good as well. Uh, I really haven't had any complaints with the support uh, that we've received from Elsevier. Well, I guess uh, what I would say in addition, that we have tried to write renal physiology to be clinically relevant because we recognize that the students who will use it will be clinicians. And so we've included uh, case studies, we've included uh, multiple choice questions, most of which are uh, really framed within a clinical context so that while we're emphasizing the physiology, the student can then see how it applies to the care of patients.